welcome to this video from in 28 minutes thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms udemy safari and pact let's welcome our lead instructor ranga rao karanam in this video we would be talking about something called centralized logging with microservices a lot of microservice architectures use things like Elk, Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana for establishing the centralized logging for their architectures. Now, what is centralized logging? Why do you need it? That's the focus of this specific video. Whenever we're talking about microservices architectures, we are talking about a number of microservices talking to each other. We are talking about small microservices having a lot of communication between them. Let's say there is a problem in microservice 5. And because of this, microservice one is throwing an error. When a developer gets the information that there is an error in microservice one, he should be able to find out what happened. He should be able to find out what was the request that came out of microservice one, what happened at microservice two, three, four, and five. He wants to be able to see the entire trace and he should be able to check out that this specific thing failed because of a specific thing at microservice five. And he should be able to debug it fast and provide a solution. The thing with microservices architecture is the more you break it down, the more visibility you would need around what's happening in the background. Otherwise, you'd spend a lot of time in debugging problems. And the only way you'd be able to do that is by having centralized logging in place. One of the ways you can implement centralized logging is by implementing log streams. What can happen is all the log from each of these can be put into a queue and there might be a distributed centralized logging server which is listening onto that queue and storing all the messages. What could happen is you can use that and you can search inside that to find out what happened with a specific request. That's one of the architectures which is possible to implement centralized logging. In this quick video, we talked about centralized logging. We talked about why centralized logging is important for microservices. We said debugging problems in microservices architectures is difficult. You need to know what's happening behind multiple microservices. And that's not easy if you have to go to the log of each of the microservices and find that out. And that's where technology stacks like Elk, Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana come into picture with centralized logging. Each of these microservices can send a log stream and there might be a centralized logging server which acts as a central store for all the log and you can have a dashboard around it and a developer might be able to go there and find out what has happened with a specific request across microservices. In 28 minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like Udemy, Safari Online and Pact. We have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months. The question is, what do you want to learn next? We are building solutions to help programmers at all levels. You can learn programming with our awesome courses on Java, Python and JavaScript. You can learn full stack development with REST APIs and microservices with a wide range of frameworks like Spring Boot, Node.js, React, Angular, and Spring Cloud. We have 200 plus videos to help you start your journey from a programmer to a software architect. We have videos to help you learn frameworks, industry trends, including things like microservices, learn the best practices in architecture, design, and code quality. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.